It's filthy money. It's dirty money. And that drug money, it came at the expense of a housewife turning into a whore. That money came at the expense of a working family man being reduced to worse than a dog. Ever see someone strung out on drugs, huh? Crack cocaine or heroin, strung out. He'll steal from his children. He'll do whatever he can just to get more drugs. A pure, clean, beautiful housewife will turn into the filthiest, foulest whore in the street. And she'll literally have sex with a dog. We're not making no exaggerations. And I'm sorry if there are young people watching, parental, advisory, whatever the case may be. This is, I'm telling you real life stories. And which is a woman who will literally do sexual acts with a dog in a, in a crack house. Just to get a few rocks of crack. The, all that money that you got came from the suffering of those people. Your comfortability came from the destruction of someone else's life. That's a little boy that was playing softball and baseball and then his father went to jail for 10 years or his father was killed. And the people, they always reflect on drugs and they talk about drugs and what drugs do to drug addicts and how it destroyed so many lives, as I just said. But people don't realize that the game, the drug game, it destroyed people that were sellers of drugs because of money, fast money, greed, lack of loyalty. How many people died and were shot and the crack epidemic in the mid 80s and the early 90s all over America, especially in the east on the East Coast, Northeast, all over, wherever you go, Detroit, California, wherever you go. But Philly, New York, Jersey, Delaware, how many people were shot and killed? How many people were locked up for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, seven years? That's seven years of no father. That's 10 years of no husband. That's that's a, 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 someone whose name is Ahmad or Tariq. Tariq Ahmad is his name. He comes from a Muslim family because his father was locked up during all of that time. He doesn't practice Islam anymore, and he has an Arab name. It's reality. So drugs are evil. And only Allah knows what drugs have done to people's communities. No? Where do these drugs come from? How are they made? How do they find their way into America? Who's providing the people with drugs and guns? When I hear to discuss all of that, What's important is drugs are evil. And anyone who has ever dealt with drugs, taken drugs, sold drugs, or seen people take them or sell them or fight over them, he knows that it's nothing but evil. And there's no good that can come out of it. I would understand this. And many of us to this day, we're living in light of the crack attack of the 90s and 80s. To this day, we didn't have parents or crack babies, people that weren't nourished properly, households that are broken the divorce rate, single parent homes, violence. People want to be gangsters, want to be tough. He's never picked up a gun a day in his life and he loses his life. He's never sold drugs a day in his life and he wants to be a drug dealer. I would understand this. He doesn't understand anything about being a businessman. He's just on the corner for the rest of his life selling nicks and dimes, wasting his life. And then we go on and on and on the stories of drugs and how evil drugs are. And that there's nothing but a dead end at the end of the road of drugs. So it's unfortunate. So with all of that being said, and I don't want to keep ranting and going on, but it, I mean, we have to know this. We have to talk about this. And there are many of us who are oblivious to this. I'm sure, 100%, that there are many people, and I'm not saying this at a racial, racial slur or being a nationalist or anything, but this is a reality. Many people that come from overseas and they migrate to America, I'm sure that many of them, if not most of them, are oblivious to what happened to the inner city people, what happened to the black communities, how drug was poured in systematically, systematically given to the poor people in those neighborhoods and how the people in 2018 are still suffering from the 80s. They're oblivious to that. Why are they so poor? Why are they so split up, disunified? Why don't they have anything? That's easy for you to say. You came from overseas. You came with a visa. You came with debt. You came with money. You don't know nothing about crack. Crack vials, needles in the playground. You don't know about going to the going to the schoolyard and see red and blue tops all over the place. You know what a crackhead is, a crack whore is. You don't know about getting shot, people shooting at you, carrying guns. You don't know anything about that. How rough it is. Somebody comes home from jail. He wants to be righteous. Can't get a job. No one wants to hire you. You got a record. Sorry, a felony. Sorry. What is he gonna do? 